identifying linked tasks here, specifically dealing with lead and lag time. So I have some sample tasks and I have them linked together. Now let's say I would like a day break between these two tasks. So once task one finishes, I then want to stop work, let's say on this next task for a day, and then begin. So I want to add a day a gap in between there. Well, to do that, we can double click the link line and you have a value here called lag. So if I set a one day lag, you can see it extends and adds in that one day. The one thing I will recommend looking out for on this one is let me just change the duration of this task. So this task now ends on a Friday, no work's done Saturday, Sunday, and then it adds that day, the work day of lag on the Monday. And then this task would then start on the Tuesday. Now, maybe I'm adding that day of lag for an allowance time where if it is going across the weekend, then I've already used the two days, so I don't really need one. So with lag time, it can be beneficial to use that elapsed duration. So if I put in one ED, you'll notice it says, okay, I'm going to use that Saturday as the one day. No problem. If I switch this back, you'll notice during the week, the lag still exists. So elapsed durations can be useful for lag. Now lag creates gaps in work. And if you wanted to create an overlap going the other way, all you do is you simply would enter that in as a negative lag value. So if I put in a negative lag value, you see it creates an overlap. And one more quick item with lag time dealing with lag is you can put this in as a percentage. So if I typed in negative 50%, it's going to start halfway through this previous task, which means it's tied to the duration. So if I did four days, you can see it adjusted the lag. If I do two days, it adjusts the lag. If I do one day, it adjusts the lag to 50%. So you can put in lead and lag time uh, as percentages. And the way I do that, like I said, is double click the task or the link line between the tasks, but there are a lot of different ways to put in lead and lag. This is not the only way. You can use task information. You can use the predecessors column. Lots of ways. Just my experience and the way I use it that I find to be one of the easiest ways to enter in lead and lag.